Uh, so I'm still in this mega taiga, so I figured, oh, I'm gonna break my boat. This is one of them waterfall rivers, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. I'm not even paddling this boat. Come on. Oh, you can go downstream like a boss. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, oh, yes. Raging rapids. Tremendous. Oh. Hello, guys. Welcome back. What's going on? Unite the Clans here. Back in yo life with another episode of life in the woods and um last episode when we stopped off we stopped right here by this which is full of fish and an amazing fishing rod and some melon all kinds of crazy stuff i in between episodes i'll mess with making some recipes with this um but for the time being i just want to get another backpack going and my thought was that we would need some leather and I didn't see any cows around but then I remembered we got all this jute fiber last episode at the horse stable I might have cut that out of the episode but we got a bunch of it and oh I thought that made a backpack shoot okay let's double check it b-a-c-k -A yeah what do we got here so big backpacks how oh, sh show me the recipe tools Oh, so it's not jute fiber, it's burlap, which is made from jute, which means I don't have enough. Okay, so let's make burlap, and we'll see how much... I think I'm only going to get two out of this. Yeah, so we're going to need... I already have two leather. Let's see. Oh, pick that up. Let's see if I have more leather hiding in here. I do. Okay, we're good. We're totally good. Okay, so let's do a combo of the burlap and the leather. Boom. And I'll take you. Yes, I will. Oh, I meant to dye that. All right, we'll figure it out. Uh, but uh, I think what we got to do is get as much food as we can into the second backpack. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe I'll hold on to those baked potatoes so that we got something to snack on. Uh, what else we got in here? I forgot to research Devil's Shoestring. Shoot. Okay, anything that looks like it might be food, I'm throwing in there. All right, you're getting dropped. Mushrooms can go in. I'll keep the cattails. I'll keep the leather. Uh, red bell pepper seeds you can have. Okay, and then we're going to use our standard backpack here to... Oh, yeah. We are going to take this, and we're going to take three of these, and we're going to make a bed, and we'll crash the night. Uh, but, uh, yeah, but might as well put that in there. And I'll hold on to my boat for the time being. But let's get a bed going as the night quickly approaches. And guys, I uh, I talk in this series. And I don't know at what point I decided that's what it would be about. But I talk a lot about um, motivation and inspiration. Because I often need it in my life. And I imagine that you guys sometimes do too. Uh, but this one's going to be a little off topic. I think lately, trying to find and make sure I have interesting things to talk about, I have been... Uh, oh yeah, we gotta grab everything from here. Uh, trying to make sure I have interesting things to talk about has led me to do a little research and find interesting articles and things to talk about along the way. Um, and, oh, dang, give me the other food backpack. I'm gonna have to do some rearranging so that I, my, I know which one's which, but, uh, we'll throw all this food in there, which is gonna be sick, and I think I'll keep the tools and the... Um, potions there, and I'll put them in the other backpack. Shoot, uh, uh, okay. Boom, boom. And I'm gonna get rid of these two things. Whoops, these two things, perfect. Take that, and take that, perfect. So it's led me to start looking at articles. That's south, that's west, beauty. Um, and I found such an interesting one today. I don't know if you guys are like me. You know, obviously, from watching my videos that I'm a video game geek, especially for Minecraft, for Ark Survival Evolved. I'm a geek for that stuff. But uh, in the midst of me becoming a video game geek, I at the same time became a board game geek. Really, really got into those to the point where with my best buddy Merv, we were designing our own board games, sitting down and spending our weekend evenings trying to, you know, draw up designs and figure out gameplay mechanics and things like that. We got really, really, really quite into it. And, um, uh, oh, is this the food backpack? We'll find out. No, it's not. Okay. Looks like I forgot to put an octopus away. There you go. 
take that, put these potatoes on the hot bar. Whoops. Okay, we'll take that back. And um anyway, I'll I'll uh I'll kinda get on to the point because we never made enough hay in our video game designing uh <laughs> careers that uh we ever really got anywhere. But over that time we made a point of playing tons and tons of games and we always looked for this my best bud Merv I was his best man at his wedding and we uh, have moved away from each other so we don't see each other quite as often as we used to somebody was telling me I can right click was it with an empty hand God, I was finally starting to get I think I'll have to wait for one of the little gardens we'll see um, but I, I'm finally starting to get actual advice on this game from people who know it and play it which is what I was hoping for from the beginning being the noob that I am um, and now I forget what the advice is I think she said something about those berry bushes where I smash them and I get like a hundred different things she said something about not doing that and being able to take the whole berry bush and break it down for its component parts later but I really should have checked that tip before we started um, I should say for anybody who is brand new to this series we are just walking endlessly in that direction. We're playing Life in the Woods, Renaissance by Fedrin, and we're playing it with Sildur Shaders, and we're just wandering to see as much of this incredibly beautiful version of Minecraft as we can see. Uh, no end goal, no far lands or bust finish line that we're working towards, but we're walking and coming across amazing things along the way. That looks like a barn, and I cannot wait to get inside. Uh, so... In our quest to find a video or a video game, a board game that was less random and more strategic, where your oh here we go here's a perfect example where your yes that's what she was saying take the whole bush okay I might need to get it out of my hand there we go I'll take all you fools beauty okay we got a barn yell uh, so our quest to find a a, a fair video game where the winner was the one with the best strategy led us to a game called Diplomacy. And I may have to stop talking about it for a minute here so we can look around. There are pistons and sticky pistons. Oh yes, grapefruit sapling, bell pepper, eggplant, snowberries, snowberries, huckleberries. I guess that's how I pronounce that. And we'll take all this, even if we only use these seeds for seed soup. And another tomato. That looks different than the last tomato I had. That's weird. I wonder if there's multiple tomatoes. Here, let's let's check it out. I think the last one I had looked more like an heirloom tomato. Okay. I forgot that you can't do that. Tomato. Yes. So we have this tomato, which is a hearty morsel. And that's the one I had last time. So Pam's Harvest Craft and Plant Mega Pack. That explains it. Um, multiple different packs here. Oh, and I got 21 levels. We got a clock, we got some paper, we got a bookshelf, and dang, tell me we don't have an enchanting room. I'm going to have to put this bookshelf down to get the most out of it. God, there's some crazy good stuff in here. Uh, okay, and let's check upstairs. How would I... Yes. Perfect. Uh, oh, God, there's so much here. If we're going to actually... Oh, guys, that name tag... I'm, I'm full up already. I'm going to probably have to take a break, rearrange, maybe break down these bookshelves, make them back into, you know, bigger, better bookshelves, and put them around that enchanting table so that we get the best out of it. And I'm really going to have to organize my inventory. So I've barely gotten started, but in the second half of the episode, once I have looted this barn fully... And let's take a peek at what's in the basement. Oh my gosh, more amazing stuff. Okay, so we'll probably spend a night here. I'll take some time and get my inventory sorted. And we will continue in the morning. Oh, hell yes. Talking about uh, the amazing board game that is Diplomacy. Probably the least random, most strategic board game. And I'm going to talk about a scientific study that's been done around that game. That, that might give you a little heads up uh, on how, how, to, how to handle extremely polite people but I will come back to you guys alright guys night is upon me here I have gone ahead and made bookshelves out of the books that we had and I crafted a few more with the leather and the paper we found and some wood and if you don't know anything about enchanting it's something that we were not gonna get into in this series but if it falls in your lap you do it so uh, 
this radius, one block away from the enchanting table that's made with diamond and obsidian, you can put, I can't remember, but a massive number of bookshelves. And the more you have, the better the enchantments you get. So let's take, uh, for example, maybe our chest piece that we just got. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there and we'll see what our options are. So four, 12, and 16 level enchantments. And we have 21. So let's see what my options are with the sword. 4, 10, 16. I want to make sure we get the most out of this we can. So if we have a 16, yeah, we probably won't be able to get a 6. So what are we going to put the 16 on? Let's go ahead and do it. Because I have Feather Falling 4 for these boots. I can't remember if I need an anvil to combine those. But let's do it on the sword. Go right ahead. We, we'll have some combat. So let's see. What do we get? Unbreaking 2. Okay, well at least this sword will last us forever. And whatever we have left, we're going to throw on this chest piece. Boom. What do we get? Protection one. That's better than nothing. And uh, while we're at it, we will put uh, our pick. No. It's too damaged. Let's throw the shovel and see if I can get a one level. I can. Let's see what we get. Efficiency one. Things are good. We have made the most of this, guys. Do we take this stuff with us? That is the new question. I think so. Backpack space is endless, and we may have more levels. By the way, these break, uh, and too bad I didn't get silk touch, but uh, we'll smash these and we'll just have to get some wood later on down the road. So I'm going to take everything we can take from here, including this gorgeous little fella. Yeah! And take that. And while it's still dark, we are going to head upstairs. Give me this book. Uh, we're going to head upstairs, and I am going to crash for the night, and then we're going to take off in the morning talking about diplomacy. Ooh. Ooh. A dusty little attic with a with a bed up here. Cool. All right. I hadn't planned on coming back to this episode yet, but I guess we will. Kind of cool to find this. What kind of bed are you? Straw bed. We might as well take this with us. You never know when you're going to need it, and I didn't sleep in that one. I wish I remember which one I did sleep in. I think it was in the basement. Screw it. We're not dying today. We're taking all the beds. Uh, I've got the space for them. I'm pretty sure... I'll show you. I, no, no, I know. I think I slept in that one right there. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and break this one. We'll leave that one, and hopefully my spawn is still safe. Uh, let's see which backpack I got on. We are going to make, like, no ground today. So, boom, 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 and we'll throw some of this crap in there. Perfect. I also found a chest. Uh, this chest down here was full of a ton of arrows. So we are stocked up, and let us head. Uh, let's get, see if we can't get a good view of the roof. I climbed this once already. Yeah, yeah, beauty. From the roof, let's see what we can see. Oh, cool. Smoke coming out of the smokestack. Which way are we headed? West. Okay. Boom. That was rough and probably dumb, uh, but we'll go this way. Where's the front door? Here we go. Sweet. So this is a great find, this crazy barn. And i got to always remember, top, stop, and take a screenshot. Oh, don't. Okay. We get to test out our new bow. dead one shot it's power five beauty okay so let's take a screenshot in front of this magnificent thing uh f5 f5 oh god that armor it looks like a mesh t-shirt <laughs> looks like i should be at oh who knows gay in london wearing this thing uh, so let's get that off for the screenshot and we'll just take a good picture here Okay, let's get the mesh shirt back on. Yes, looking extremely masculine in that. And which way? He's so... Ah! All right, so, guys, I, it has taken me so long to get to my damn point this episode because we keep finding amazing things. Give me this. Um, we are... Put that back in my hand. Yes, we're talking about diplomacy, and diplomacy is a... Um, it's a game set in pre-World War One Europe, and you have, I think, seven major powers. It's like Britain, France, Germany, Austria, Hungary, Italy. I'm sure there's another one that I'm forgetting. Uh, and you play, and there's no dice, no decks of cards, 
No random chance. It's just alliances made between... Shut up, fools. Will you not die in the sun already? So, the game is all about alliances uh, made uh, made between the players uh, to, to compete with each other. And there's no, you know, random chance my army is better than yours. It's like, if I have a bigger one than you, you know, I can win. Um, and so they've used this game to do a study of when people will turn on people. And that's what brings me back to talking about it here, because that's an important life skill to know. If you were about to be betrayed, if someone is about to manipulate you and make you think that they're they're on your side and then turn around and go ratchet out to the boss or whatever, whatever the scenario is, it uh, is always good to be able to see that sort of thing coming. Having a friend who you trust turning on you and then suddenly you don't trust them. Usually that kind of thing catches people off guard, right? Well, the interesting thing is they've studied it on multiple occasions, sort of in person, watching people play, uh, not so scientific, uh, sort of the kind of data where you can look at it and go, hmm, that's interesting, but maybe not, maybe not usable. Uh, and they've also studied it with computers. And I guess what they're studying is language and demeanor. And what will happen in almost every case before a betrayal extreme politeness yeah that's right people will be ridiculously polite on their way to stabbing you in the back uh give me this perfect we're gonna hop in the water and we're gonna see how far we can go with this boat um isn't that crazy and it and they've managed with using computers uh to study linguistic patterns they've managed to predict with 57 percent accuracy when a betrayal is coming by studying, I guess, an online version and, and written language in the way that a lot of computer programs like Siri uh, can understand now. They can read what you write and understand it. Give me that, beauty. I guess we didn't get too far on the boat. Uh, but the crazy thing is, is that in, in, in that game and in real life, you need to beware the overly polite, the people who try and manipulate you with their politeness. Now, this is a silly... You know, you got to be careful how you apply this sort of knowledge because just because someone's nice to you doesn't mean you shouldn't trust them. But if somebody seems too nice, if they take your spidey sense and go, why is this person being so sugary sweet? Why? Are, what's, what's going on here, right? Oftentimes that can be an indication of something to come. Toadstool, I'll take it. I wonder if I can make some mushroom burgers with that. Oh, and speaking of, we got to try and milk a cow at some point. If we see a cow, we're putting down a crafting table, we're making a bucket, and we're seeing if we can't get some milk off of them. Oh, wolves, yet again. Uh, we're gonna have to get through this way. And hopefully this isn't a cliff edge too. No, cool. Nice and slow and steady. Um, so that's, I suppose, the fascinating uh, topic for today's uh, episode, guys. I'm gonna put a link in the description to the article I found on Lifehack talking about this. But if you're a board gamer, especially one who has played uh, ooh, life in the or not life, who's played diplomacy, then um, you're gonna be fascinated by it. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna read it. Uh, and if you're the type of person that wants to understand other people, and you're tired of getting surprised by the really nice people turning around and stabbing you in the back, um, how much iron and coal do I have? I think it's this one. We'll see. Nope, wrong backpack. I really got to get these, finish color coating these. Uh, iron, 18 iron, 55 coal. I think we'll skip the cave. Um, guys, let me take another break. I'm going to keep walking and I'll bring you back uh, for one more interesting thing, assuming that I find one more interesting thing. If not, I'll just bring you back when I find a particularly gorgeous landscape. Yeah, what have we found here? Is this just a stretch of train tracks? Yes, it is, but we get a river and we get a spot for our boat. Guys, this is a good time to bring you back. Um, nothing crazy exciting has, whoa, come on boat, has come across uh, my path. Uh, so I'm still in this mega tag, so I figured, oh, I'm gonna break my boat. This is one of them waterfall rivers, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. I'm not even paddling this boat. Come on. Oh, you can go downstream like a boss. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, oh, yes. Raging Rapids. Tremendous. Oh, 
And yeah, I'm not even pedaling my boat, guys. This is just where it's being taken. Look at this. There is a current to this river, and I am just trying to keep us going straight. That is the only thing on my horizon, uh, except for a setting sun. So let me get to talking, because night's coming. Oh, coming fast. Okay, let's see if uh, I got another boat, because that was too much fun. Uh, no, let's just walk it. And um, let me get my torch out, and night comes quick. So guys, on the topic of that game, diplomacy, and being wary of politeness, I would say it's going to be... It's going to be tough to suddenly start applying this to your real life, like the advice I usually try and give uh, in this series. But um, I think the general rule at least applies to board games. If an ally of yours in a board game has suddenly become extremely polite, beware. Because a, a betrayal is coming. And if a ally of yours in real life has suddenly turned polite, I wouldn't count on a betrayal showing up. But what I would count on, oh god, I'm stuck in the mud and there's guys right on my tail. We're gonna have to get to a safe spot for the night. Dang it, I have let it get way too late in the day. How close is this fool? I'm gonna, oh dang it, I gotta go set up a bed. All right, let's get on dry land. I'll, uh, I'll try and hustle to get a bed out. How much time do I have? Okay, I can run away from this fool. Nope, okay. Give me my powerful sword, get wrecked. This isn't my good sword. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run. Make some time. Make some space. Shoot, what a disastrous end of the episode, guys. Okay, there we go. So, what I was gonna say is, you you know, at the very least, you can look at changes in language and behavior as a way to predict future behavior. Um, and I think that's what that article was really about. There's probably not enough scientific data that you should go around accusing anybody who starts being polite to you of being a, a traitor who's about to betray you. But uh, there's some indication that in the world of board games and in the world of linguistics and the people who study language, that that is an indicator. That, um, that you can predict with some sense of sort of accuracy uh, future behavior from people. So let's, oh God, I think I'm just walking through the night. Uh, this looks like a safe spot. Okay, perfect. I think we're gonna call it here, guys. Uh, right backpack? Yes, it is the right backpack. Okay, life is good. Oh good, I hear freaks. I'm just gonna place a bed and see if we can get away with it. Yes. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this one. I'll say it again, if you are, are watching still, if you have made it this deep into this episode and you are not yet subscribed to me, go ahead and do it because you clearly like what I have to say. You clearly like the games I play. Didn't mean to rhyme on that one. <laughs> And uh, I need you to be a subscriber. Come on, guys. Do the damn thing. So if you already are a subscriber, thank you. I love you. And I will have another episode coming for you in just a couple of days. That's it. I'm UTC, and I will see you fools in the next one. And this is the first episode of Building with UTC in a very long time. I'm sorry I've been away, guys. I lost my inspiration a little. I have to be honest. It happens.